Hi everyone, Kyla with Backlight here. And we had a question that came up during our most recent F-Track advice clinic around how you can visualize your tasks when you're tracking your project. So this person was mentioning that they had a project that was pretty large and complex. There were a lot of tasks nested underneath the objects that they were tracking. In my example project here, I am looking at shots and they were wondering if there was a way that they could view this that was maybe a little bit more simplified. And the answer to that is that you can potentially use task columns instead, which look a little something like this. So you can see that now, instead of having the tasks nested underneath the object, I've got each task type being represented by a separate column. And in cases where maybe I have more than one task that's been associated with that type, they will still be visible in separate rows. These can also be expanded or collapsed depending on if I want to view the more granular details that I've decided to surface here. So let's go through how to set this up. I'm going to revert back to a default view that shows my entire project hierarchy and we're going to work backwards from there. So first we're going to go over to this shots hierarchy. So I'm going to be stripping out the top layer of the way this project has been set up. So I'm going to get rid of the folders and the sequences so that I'm only looking at the objects underneath. We'll go over there. And now I'm going to remove all of the attribute columns that I have in the view so that I can make room for my task columns. To do that, I'm going to go over to my settings menu. I'm going to hover over attributes, over task, and then I'm just going to uncheck all of the attributes that are currently visible. But I am gonna leave the thumbnail one on second thought. There we are nice empty spreadsheet, lots of room for our task columns. So to turn task columns on, we're going to go back to our settings menu, hover over attributes, hover over task columns, and you can see that we get a list of all of the task types that are available on this particular project. To compare that, if I go over to my create button and go to create a task, you can see that I've got all of the same types available to create a task on this project. So back to my menu, attributes, task columns. I'm going to select the task type that I want to display, and it's going to show me a list of all of the out of the box attributes, as well as any custom attributes that have been created for tasks on this project. So let's select a few attributes that we want to surface in our task column. Maybe our status and our scheduled dates. Maybe the assignee and some bid days. There we go. So we've got our task column set up with all of our data. We can rearrange these columns if we want the same way we could in the rest of the task spreadsheet. We can resize them also depending on how large you want them to be. And we can just keep adding each task column that we would like to have displayed with the specific information we would like to be able to see when we've got this expanded. Just a second one for an example. And once you're happy with all of the columns that you've had set up, you just go up to views and save this out as a view the same way you would any other filtered view that you set up in the task spreadsheet. Hope you find this tip helpful. Until next time.